Hey, what's up guys? We are back with another video. This is five things you should know before moving to the Midwest. But first, I want to mention that Mr. Andrew Strong and I are both licensed brokers in the state of Indiana. If you are thinking about buying, selling, investing, or relocating to the Midwest, give us a call. We would be happy to help you. This is our email address. This is our phone number. Let's go. We'll take good care of you guys. We will. Okay, number one, if you are moving to the Midwest, I'm speaking from experience. When I first came to the Midwest, I did not have a four by four vehicle. And then what happened? And then I got stuck because it snows a lot here. So non-negotiable, you have to have a four by four vehicle. Full disclosure, it doesn't snow every year, but when it does, it does, if you know what I'm saying. We get lots of ice, lots of accidents, uh, lots of people stuck on the side of the road. Usually I'm the guy out there helping push their vehicles and help get them unstuck. So a four by four vehicle, yes, I agree. Non-negotiable. And That's while it. we are on the topic of weather, a little tip, try your absolute hardest to have a garage. Why? Because it snows. And so what happens when it snows? What do you have to do at 5 a.m. before you head off to work? You have to go outside with your little scraper and scrape the windshield. And unless you wanna be doing that in negative three degree weather, get a garage. Bonus tip, the Midwest has a storm warning, right? A storm siren? Never in my life had I heard that before, right? Before I moved to the Midwest. So they sound this alarm when a tornado is nearby, when or just it, a, a, like a big storm's coming in. It's a lot of wind, it's raining. But here's what you need to know about this siren. They test that on a random Tuesday in the middle of the summer. And when I moved to Indiana, I moved in July, so it was hot. There was no snow, no storm, no wind. I'm walking my pug, middle of the day, and what do I hear? The freaking apocalypse alarm. And what does she do? I looked around because I never heard this unless looking around, you know, observing. I just so happened to see two people running. I don't, I thought something was happening. So like any normal person, I pick up my pug, my 40 pound pug, <laughs> and I run inside. So little tip there for you. It is normal to hear that alarm in the middle of a normal day. So did you think we were getting nuked or what? I don't know what I thought. <laughs> the third thing you should know when you're moving to the Midwest is that the Ohio River runs through a lot of these states and while it's very beautiful, it's toxic. Yeah, not a lot of people out there swimming. It's more toxic than your ex. That's pretty toxic. Just so you know. Now, some people here are risking everything to go swimming in the Ohio River. You don't need that kind of person in your life. If people are inviting you to go swimming or boating on the river, you can, but should you? Probably not. You should not go in the Ohio River. We usually drive an hour or so away to Santa Claus or to um, some spots in Kentucky. Yeah. And we'll enjoy the lakes there. If you want some suggestions for where you can go swimming and you can go boating, let us know and then we'll put a video together for them. That's a good idea. We'll make a list of good lakes. Num what? <laughs> Fourth thing. Okay. Fourth thing that you should know when moving to the Midwest. It's humid here. It's very humid. It's so... It's not as hot as like Arizona, but it feels way worse. It's dry heat, so it could be 85 here versus 95 in Arizona, and it feels way hotter here. And you actually, I noticed the last time we went to Arizona, like even though it was really hot, I wasn't sweating. Because the sweat just evaporates. Yeah, so here <laughs> it could be just 85 degrees and I just sweat my butt off. Yeah, so it's very humid here. I moved here from the state of Utah, which is like a desert, much like Arizona. And that is a rude awakening, the humidity. 85 feels like 700. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, number, I don't know. This is like all in the same realm here. Next tip. Next one. It is very green here. You know, there's a lot of trees, plants grow like crazy. So. Grow whatever you want here. Not, not a lot of people have irrigation systems. Again, I moved here from Utah where it is very dry and if you wanted to have a lawn, 
you had to work for it. You had to have an irrigation system that, you know, was scheduled to go off at 7 a.m. and like at 7 p.m. in the evening. It's not easy to keep grass alive there, so you have to really work for it. That is not the case here. It rains so freaking much that I've seen maybe two irrigation systems in the last like five years of selling home. But here, I will say in July, we have had to water our grass. Yeah, because it's so hot. So you, it's, it's killing the grass, it's so hot. Yeah, so you might have to, you know, sprinkle your garden, you water your garden in July, but generally speaking, people do not have irrigation systems. Because it is so humid and because it is so green, there is a lot of bugs here. Mm, the mosquitoes are wild out here. And that is a rude awakening. They will eat you up, so you need to have your bug repellent on hand when you are coming to the Midwest. They'll get you on the way to the car. Oh, they'll get you, they'll, they'll get you before you even realize. You walk outside for a second, walk in, seven bug bites, guaranteed. And something that I had to learn was that they bite your dogs and that can cause heartworm disease. Well, second to last thing that you should know is that, well, this was, this was also new for me. Homes here are not built with stucco as they are in, on the West Coast. They're built with brick and vinyl siding. It's very rare. There are some, but it's it's very rare. They look odd when they're here. They're out of place. Yeah, sure. but when you see them in Arizona and Utah and Nevada and California where they belong, they look normal. They're beautiful. You won't see any block fences here either. I noticed that in Arizona. A lot of homes have cinder blocks for fences, but here it's just wood. Mm -hmm. Or the plastic, like the white plastic yeah. fencing. Or steel gates. Yeah, and the last thing that you should know when you are moving to the Midwest is that homes here might be a little bit older than you're used to seeing. I know that's the case for me since I moved here from the West Coast, which, you know, generally speaking, is newer than the Midwest, you know, as it was developed later than the Midwest. So I never in my life had seen an eight, a home from like 1800s, <laughs> but it's very common here. They're called historic homes. People love them. People will specifically look for historic homes and they function very well. I mean, they still function well. Yeah, they got good bones. You just have to maintain them, you know, service the AC, update plumbing, yeah. update electrical, of course, a new roof, but. And then decide whether you want to make it a modern home or keep the historic look. Yeah, and usually what we find is like a good mix between both like some modern updates, but preserving a lot of like the original wood framing or the wood doors or the door handles, things like that. Yeah, I've seen some pretty cool giant doors. Yeah. So that's it, guys. That's five things you should know. Well, <laughs> five, seven, ten, something like that. <laughs> something that you should know when you are moving to the Midwest. I hope you liked this video. If you found this useful, give it a thumbs up. Don't be stingy with your thumbs up, and we'll see you next time.